Hey guys, in this video we are going to learn how to run WordPress on localhost using WAMP server. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm here in my browser. I am using um, Microsoft Edge. You guys can use any browser you want. So at first I want to download WAMP. So in my search bar I'm going to type in download WAMP server and then hit enter on keyboard. So as you can see my search result already found the page it's uh, wampserver.com we're going to put this link in the description below so you can find it quickly so from here I'm going to select the go to download and this is the official WAMP server uh, website so when you come here just simply uh, scroll down and in the download section you will find WAMP server 64 bits and WAM server 32 bits so we're using the 64 bits we're going to download this one if you are not sure um, simply um, minimize this right click on your uh, computer click on properties and it's going to show you um, your operating system type in here okay so I'm going to close this and open up my um, edge and then click on WAM 64 and there are a lot of things you can fill out but you can just simply click on you can download uh, it directly over here now you can wait for the download to complete so after your download is complete uh, you can find this um, uh, program over here it's 644 megabytes as you can see so we are going to set uh, set up WAMP okay so double click over here and as soon as the setup starts, it's going to uh, allow you to select the language you want. So only two languages are available. We're going to select English and we're going to click on OK. So there's the license and agreement. You can read all of this. After that, you can click on I accept the agreement and click on Next. And here are a few important information before uh, you proceed. Um, we're going to click on Next and then it's going to ask you which drive you want to set up your WAMP you can set up on C or any drive you want so we're going to um, keep it in the default directory just click on next and in this uh, section you get to select which components you want to install so um, the already selected uh, components are good um, the MariaDB, MySQL, the others so these are all fine okay so we can click on next it's going to create a start menu folder with this name and it's all fine we're just going to click on next and finally click on install and it's installing now okay after the installation is finished it's going to ask you if you will be using edge as your default browser so you can use any browser but we are going to use edge so i'm going to click uh, select yes if you want to use another browser just click on no but we're going to use edge and click on yes and we're going to click on open and that is going to ask you if you want to use notepad.exe as your default text editor um, you can use VS Code, um, Sublime Text, Atom, or any other text editor you want. But for now, we are going to just use the Notepad as the default editor. All right. So, so click on Yes and Open. And the installation is finishing up. All right. So installation is complete. So we are going to click on Next and we are going to click on finish so our WAMP setup is complete now if we close this and go to our desktop you can see that uh, the WAMP server is over here so we're going to double click on it it's going to ask for admin permission so click on yes and it's starting up So if we open this up, you can see there's an icon over here, WAMP icon, which is turned to green. If this icon is red, that means your uh, services are not running. If it's green, that means everything is okay. Since it's green, it means everything is okay. So I'm going to open up my browser and type localhost and hit enter. And it's going to bring me to this page. So this page showing up, it means you have done everything correctly and you can see it shows you the apache version your mysql your mariadb 
uh, version PHP versions it shows you all the information over here from here you can see there are some tools and you can see your projects there are no projects in the folder yet it's also um, guiding us and telling us how to uh, put in a project we just need to put in a fo uh, create a folder in the www directory and there's the php my admin so since we have everything set up we need wordpress right now so let's go ahead and download wordpress so i'm going to open uh, another tab and type download wordpress and here we can see the wordpress.org i'm going to uh, go to this link and here we can download wordpress so if we scroll down and the, click on this button download wordpress 6.2 we can download it and as you can see our download is complete this is the wordpress file that we downloaded it's a compressed file um, so we're going to right click and copy this file so after we copy uh, our wordpress we are going to c drive then we're going to go to wamp and from here we are going to this www folder and here we are going to paste our wordpress compressed file that we downloaded so it's already here now i'm going to right click and select extract all so i'm using windows 11 and it has a default extractor you guys can use uh, winrar 7-zip or any other compressors to extract this file so i'm going to extract now it's going to extract a lot of files so it might take some time okay so our extraction is completed uh, it opened up another window so i'm going to close this and the folder it extracted is over here so it created another folder we don't need this we're just going to cut this and paste it over here and then we're going to delete this folder and we also don't need this zip file right now so i'm going to delete it all as well so uh, now we have the wordpress folder now if we open up our browser and refresh this page you can see on our project it says wordpress so this is our project now if we go back and rename this folder to something else for example we're calling our uh, folder daily blog now if we go back to our browser and refresh now it says daily blog so you guys can create multiple uh, wordpress websites just uh, give them a different name and it will be um, shown over here in your projects okay so we have our wordpress files ready what we now need is to create a database for our wordpress website so how can you create a database it's very simple from your local host what you can do is click in php my admin and it's going to take you to the php my admin and once you're here it's going to ask you for a username and a password so by default the username is root r o o t and if you have done nothing with the system by default there's no password so you can just simply click on login okay so this is our php my admin these are all the databases um, from here you can manage your database you can create database delete databases um, you can basically manage your entire database from your php my admin so we need to create a database right now how we can do that so from this tab over here databases click over here and in here there are a lot of these informations no need to get confused just simply uh, give your database a name so we are going to give our database and the name of daily blog since um, this is the name of our website folder to keep it simple and to quickly identify it i'm going to name it daily blog but you can name it anything so i'm going to click on the create button and this has created our uh, database so now that we have our database we are going to go back to our local host over here and we are going to um, open up our project so how we can do that after localhost we are going to put a forward slash and type in daily blog since this is the name of our project so you must be careful here you need to type exactly what uh, the name of your project is and then hit enter on keyboard 
so if you have followed everything um, up until this point you will see this screen and when you see this screen it means everything you have done is uh, correct okay so we're going to select the language and we're going to cl click on continue so this is the WordPress installation so for the WordPress installation they need the name of the database the username the password database host etc so we're going to click on let's go since we have already created the database okay so the name of the database is if you remember we named it daily blog and as you know by default the name of the username is root and there's no password and everything else is just fine so we're going to click on the submit button and you're going to see this message all right sparky you've made it through this part of the installation wordpress can now communicate with your database if you're ready time now to run the installation so we're going to click on this button run the installation and we need to create um, our site title our username and password for our site so i'm going to quickly show you so the title of the site let's call it daily blog and we're going to select a simple username for now okay so since this is a local host website we don't need a strong password but if you are posting your uh, website live on the internet you have to make sure that you have a very strong password so for this local host website we're going to use a very weak password and we're going to click on confirm use of weak password and then you need to put in your email address so we are going to put in this email address and for search engine visibility since this is a local host website um, this doesn't apply so we're going to ignore this for now and click on install WordPress okay so our WordPress has been installed now we're going to click on the login button and now this is the WP login so we are going to uh, put in our username which is user and we are going to put in our password and we're going to click on login and that's it we have just logged into our wordpress website you can see everything is working um, there's the version 6.2 and these are all the um, notifications in your dashboard a little introduction to wordpress there are a lot of things you can do as soon as you install wordpress um, go to plugins you can delete these plugins if you don't need it uh, I'm going to delete it and for appearance we are going to themes and there are a lot of themes over here you can just click on add new and there are tons of free themes available for you you can install a theme and start building your website if you guys want to learn how to create a blog an e-commerce website or an e-learning website with WordPress you guys can check out our channel we have some really cool tutorials uh, following which you can learn WordPress so feel free to explore our channel okay back to this tutorial so um, after you select a theme make sure to delete all other themes um, because it will only make your site heavier for example we have three themes installed um, we don't need all all three so let's go back to our themes and um, since this is the currently the active theme we are going to remove these themes we're going to select it and delete this theme we're going to select this theme and delete this theme it's better to have only the theme that you're using or which is the active theme and otherwise remove all other themes okay so um, there's one more thing I want to show you if you guys uh, click on this arrow and click on the WAMP icon over here you'll see there are a couple of options over here so the first option is the localhost so if we click on localhost it's going to take us to the WAMP server localhost which we already saw your projects are over here you can access your phpMyAdmin from here you can also um, click on the icon and select uh, hover your mouse over phpMyAdmin and then click on phpMyAdmin and it will direct you to the phpMyAdmin okay so this is a neat little shortcut so it will help you get around uh, your local host much quicker and there are other options here as well your virtual host php apache all these options are available here but if you don't know what you're doing it's better to leave all these alone you know and from here you can also stop all services the apache and php all services you can uh, stop from here you can start all services from here you can restart your services from here as well so again if we um, right click on uh, wamp icon there is going to be another menu over here 
from here you can see uh, the language there are a couple of languages over here you can select the language you prefer and there's the WAMP settings over here again these are a bit more advanced so if you don't know what you're doing uh, it's better to leave these alone there's the tools and um, there are a couple of things you can do over here but we're not going to see all of that we just uh, wanted to see how you can run WordPress on localhost and since that is done we don't need to uh, fidget around with it but I'm just showing you all the options over here you can also um, exit WAMP from here as well okay so okay that uh, brings our tutorial to an end so if this video was helpful for you guys give it a like um, comment and subscribe to our channel because it encourages us to make more helpful videos like this one okay so see you in the next video take care